Hello, welcome back. This is Morris Limba. And the next step today, we are going to the next step is the placement of rebars on the, on the beams. If I zoom close, you'll be able to see I have my beams in place because I had previously deleted them and I brought them back. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, place the the rebars on the on the beams. Then I'll populate them to the full height or to every floor of our structure. So I'll, I'll select on that uh, beam macro. So I'll just be able to to click, then right click to place the rebars right there. You can see that has been placed right right there. And if if I click, if select on that, then right click, I have placed that there. If I click on that, and you can see that. So I have my rebars in place. So if I come here also, I'll be able to place my rebars like that. And uh, select on that and place a rebar on that beam. And uh, I'll do the same to the rest. I'll just select on that and right click and uh, create a reinforcement right there. So if I right click on that, select left, left click, then right click to confirm the placement. I'll select on that then right click to confirm the placement. I'll do the same thing here and right click confirm the placement of the rebar. And so I'll do that once again and uh, you can see the hook on the other end and also here. If I click on that, you'll be able to see I have the hook on this far end here. So let me check any part that I've left out and uh, we will place the rebar. I'll select on that then right click to confirm that. I'll select on that, right click and confirm that. I'll select on that, right click and confirm that. So let me just uh, turn this round to check whether there's any beam left out prior to populating everything up a floor, on every floor upward. So let me come back once again and select on that, then right click to confirm and select on that beam and then right click confirm that. Right click once again to terminate that, to terminate that uh, command or uh, that task. Now I want to copy this. I want to select the beam. Let me select on that the beams. Let me first of all zoom closer and you can see the rebars are in place. So I want to populate this beam to each floor. And prior to doing that, let me just bring back my slab. And if I right click and come to show all, I'll have my all, all my slab back and uh, I'll select this beam. So once I've selected that beam, I'll come to edit and pick uh, select, then pick the uh, same color. Let me just uh, do same color right there. So I'll have all the beams selected. Uh, let me assume so, but I can see all the selections have been highlighted. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just uh, coming here and right click and come to uh, populate this and I'll come to copy linear, select on that. And I want to populate this on, on the full height of this particular uh, structure. So I'll target the Z axis and I'm using uh, this height uh, 3.2. So I'll go ahead and uh, just add that to 3 and click copy. So I'll give you some time to populate that on the full height of our structure. So if I close that, I'll be able to see I have my ring bars in place and reinforced upward. So you can see that. So any, 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 any uh, beam missing, we can just uh, place manually and place respectively replacement and uh, place reverse. So let me just delete this because it's if you don't need. So let me turn that round and you can see that in place. Our reverse are in place. You can see that. And the next step will be handling of how we can place uh, the slab reverse, the, slab, uh, the reverse into the slab. So that's uh, another way of placing uh, rebars on the columns and the beams uh, and uh, there are different workflows that we'll be tackling as we go on with uh, uh, offering to train uh, the willing people on the internet on how to use commerce. This, this is nice and uh, let's meet then on the next presentation and this is Morris Gimba and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye.